104.1 KRBE. Let's get started. It's the Rula and Ryan Show. Wake up, fool! Hey, wake up! It's about to get all stupid up in here! Right here! Featuring <laughs> Eric. Eric! He is a bad, bad man! Special K. The big red K. Are you threatening me? I'm waiting for you. And Sam. <gasps> I am a wife! I am a wife! You've waited long enough. How the heck do you pronounce this woman's name? Rula. <laughs> And Ding Dong Ryan 104.1 KRBE. Good morning. Good morning, Houston, Texas. It's Wednesday, August the 30th of 2023 at 6.01 a.m. with the gang R- Rula, Ryan, Eric, Special K, Sam, Avon, phones. Rooms, microphones, everybody's <laughs> present. <Yeah. laughs> hey, happy birthday to Houston. We're 187 years old today. Wow. Houston was founded August 30th by brothers Augustus C. and John K. Allen. So you ever wonder where the Allen Parkway comes from? That's where the name comes from. They, they paid picked Houston because of Sam Houston, right? They just they just said, hey, this is well-known person, so we're going to call this they, city Houston, right? Yeah, yeah. They picked the land mm. because it was just a dollar and 40 cents per acre, and they bought 6,642 yeah. acres. And then a year later, we got our first mayor, and uh, boom, here we are. That's Happy cool. birthday. Well, you know, yesterday, you know, yesterday was another weird, um, I'm not saying this is a weird anniversary, but yesterday was. It was the sixth anniversary of Harvey, guys. Is that crazy? Yeah, I know. Mm. That was the night that it started raining so crazy. People went to dinner and came back to floods. That's when time hop sucks. Yep. This is when I'm like, oh, I don't even want to see my Facebook today. Y'all, for the next week and a half, sleep. it'll be like that. Maybe two weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because remember, the real flooding didn't happen until they released all that water. Well, no, no. The real flooding had already happened. Some of it, and but then, then it, it got had worse. Receded, and then people flooded again. Because I have friends that stayed with us. They flooded initially, and then we got them out of their house, and then they flooded again. Mm. Is that crazy? I remember for years, remember you'd be driving home from work, and you'd be like, see the piles of trash mm. debris my god debris. so much and there's still stuff eric on the on the commute like depending on where you live especially from i guess dairy ashford area where they released you remember like where phoenix worked in those townhouses they got flooded with the release yeah you know there's all these houses between there and creeping up around krbe there are some places that just never got built back up or they are just still sitting there Rula, my Aunt Anna, she works for FEMA, and she was telling me that, because she was down here when this happened, she said that we'll be suffering repercussions of Harvey for at least 50 years. Oh, yeah. I mean, That's living in Louisiana, sad. people are still suffering from repercussions of Katrina. I have family members yes. still leave, uh, living in FEMA trailers. So, yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. It was a lot of t- trailers still there. That was 2005. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. almost 20 years. Wow. Yep, yep. Oh my God. You know, my kids like those books called the I Survived series. Have you heard of those? I Survived Big Events. Yeah, Yeah, they're actually pretty cool and they kind of teach you about world events. And so one of them was um, I Survived Hurricane Katrina and it was from the uh, perspective of a little boy in his house in I'm not sure which parish it was and the parents were going to try and leave and there was too much traffic and they're like you know what we've been through storms before storms before let's just stay and before they knew it they were in their attic punching through the ceiling hey, and then you, he got washed away from his family I was Florida doing water. right now is uh, when I slept I was going to bed around 10 is about to hit the hurricane oh god I haven't checked I need to put a weather channel on I don't know what the weather channel is for this uh, TV studio. You mean for the hurricane that's hitting yeah, Florida? Florida? Yeah, it's in it's in there now. It's in there now. Yeah, it, the eye is going over top of Florida oh right now, Lord. and it landed as is a cate- three category or? three. Oh, it did make it a three. Yeah, and did it's it going to really? go oh going to go down to a two Ooh, pretty that's quickly. Near Tampa was it? Across Dahlia, it says. Uh, let's see. It says thirty nine minutes ago, according to CNN. Made landfall. Hurricane Adalia mm. intensifies to a dangerous Category 4 hurricane ahead of Ooh, its no. landfall in the Florida Gulf. So you feel like, because we know what's happening. People up north, when we hear mm. that, never, I never understood it mm-hmm. until you lived here. You understand that the surge weirdest part, Eric, stuff. is that still. You know, like it's kind of like sunny and still. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, God, this thing is coming. It's the calm before the storm, literally. It seems like most of them it's real. at nighttime. Harvey didn't feel like as much as a hurricane more than a huge rainstorm. But before that, that when we had it, was that Ike that Ike. knocked out? Ike out? is when we lost all the power. Everything for a week. That Boom. felt we, like at the end of days. We saw Anderson Cooper and Geraldo here. We're like, uh-oh. Yeah, we are in trouble then. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember oh, yeah. Ike. When that Anderson was, comes to we're your like, town, we're screwed. screwed. That was costly. Like, I mean, there was a lot and, of property damage with Ike. It, 
And I definitely don't feel like calling it Hurricane Harvey for us, Kevin, to your point. It was definitely a flood event. And the word flood had traumatized me for a very long time. For a very long time. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we don't have to ever go through that again. Uh, we played couples court a little bit ago, and that, that, that got a lot of people at 5.30 in the oh, morning yeah, texting about. Text. Uh, got people, people riled up. I can't even remember what it was yesterday. Okay, so, okay, so the it couple's the, court. He comes to us because she wants to go ahead, Ryan, and explain. Well, that basically, I'm, I'm at these they got into one of these like existential arguments, and he said, "You know, we've only been dating less than a year. I think my ex knows me better than you." Which I'm like, nine years or something, that's right? Which I'm like, yeah, he, she probably does, but why in God's name would you? Oh, didn't he say something stupid like, "Tell her that if she came back and wanted to marry you, would you go back with her or something?" And he kind of paused. He just kept getting himself in deeper, deeper trouble. Well, his problem was is that he never told her the reason they had broken up is because she wouldn't marry him. And, I think and we that made it, really we made it worse. Yeah, we did make it worse. But and then, a lot of people on text are like, "Hope this girl leaves." Girl, leave! Oh flag, my god, dude, flag. come on! Two red flag strikes. Yes, why? Don't talk about the ex. The question That's I what... asked that drove him over the edge, which really did screw. And this is how I did make things worse. I said, "Would you choose?" Because he wants to be friends with his ex. What's more important to you, your friendship with your ex or your relationship with your current? And he waffled on that. And I think that's what made it worse. And boom, then all of a sudden this listener line comes in. Couples court. Y'all made it worse. Ryan, oh my goodness gracious. What is wrong with you? Why would you like instigate it more? Just kept digging. I don't get it. Why, Ryan? Why? Why would you do that? You made things worse for the poor guy. Here's the thing. If you're in a relationship for nine years with somebody, yes, that person is going to know you longer than the person you're with. It's common sense. If the person you're with can't understand that, then that person has more issues than you do. They have something going on with trust issues. They expect you to tell you all your darkest secrets. You have to earn the trust to know everything about a person. Second, you can be friends with exes. You can be. It's not weird. It's not be, oh my gosh, you tell you back with my ex. None of that. You can be friends with exes with no problem. But oh my goodness, Ryan, what is wrong with you? Why would you dig more and make this poor man's life a little difficult? Why? <laughs> this is attack you on something. See how you feel. All right, that's all, y'all. Have a good day, fart knocker. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't believe why be friends with exes bro? I kind of agree with her I'm not gonna lie you wanna be friends with your ex I mean I'm not friends with him but well, there we're you go. cordial so you, you we're not cool. like hey well, boo how you been you don't have to be a jerk but you don't have to be friends like call them up a friend is somebody you keep in contact with and you right. talk about your life. Not an and acquaintance or someone in your social circle. It's somebody friend. you actually will have a lunch with or have um, you send funny reels to. This is my life now. You know um, um, we're friends if we exchange reels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't always have to just talk. You can you do a reel. reel. Here's a, here's I a think there are, there are lines yeah. and there are boundaries, though. If you are telling that ex who's now a friend intimate details about your current relationship, yeah, I think the person no, you're with has got every right to be a little upset. Yeah. Hey, uh, did you see the other thing? Uh, there's something I want to talk about. I don't think we have time today, but uh, the the coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, he had to cut players yesterday. Everyone did, NFL. Mm-hmm. And he, he cut his own son. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey, but it's like that's tough. A tight end in the NFL, and he's like, oh, sorry, son. Well, no uh, Nepo baby there. I like that. Wait, is it 100% up to the coach, 100%? No um I mean, I other think he gets with the GM input? and everybody, they... You know, yeah, the I'm sure the GM. He, what is if he was like, pressure. let's give him a chance, and somebody, uh, like the vote was three to two yeah. that he has to. And it could have, it might have been that way. He might have said, you know what, guys, I'm too close to this. What's your honest opinion? I'm not going to be mad. And either way, we're probably your son right. sucks. So I was thinking about like <laughs> that's a topic sometime. Like, did you have to fire your own kid Oof. or a family yeah, member? That's... It's like, oh man, we're just not. Why don't that. we talk about that, Eric? Well, we also had your what's up your butt Wednesday because. Oh, oh, my God, yes, we have to do that. Yesterday's statistic was that um, in the uh, medical 4, world, 4,600 uh, foreign objects are found in people's rectums every year. Oh, 4, my 6, God. 4, that low of a number? What do you mean that low? Well, look at that number. That's a lot. Well, 4,600? 4, 330 I'm million number. people in America. Well, I guess not that, that way, but it's like. I would, I, think, still, I would think at least yeah, 10K. But but Ryan, when you say 300 10K. people in America, you're talking from infants to the 100 year olds. Yeah, that's right? the population. If we cut it down to like people between the age 17 of 18, and 58. Yeah, 17 right, to let's find out how many 60. Adults. What is that number concentrated? That would be a huge number because that's who shows up. They're saying the number one thing is apples. What? Oh, what? I was hearing it. Lord. <laughs> You're joking. Yeah, like I'm so top. traumatized over the peanut butter jar that, <laughs> that with the screwed out top that was leaning out. So we, we, brought, we did Leaking this uh, last month.
because we bring it back once in a while, around 640, when the nurses and doctors mm-hmm. and people that have worked in that business in the past, they'd call in and share stories. And last time, we only got like two stories, so we can try it today at 640. If you're, if you're in the medical field and you're getting ready for work, know that we're going to be asking you to call us around 635. It's, basically, it's, not, it's not just all stories about things in your took it's, it's just things it's that radiologists happen, crazy seen things you've seen in the ER, ER yeah. in the ER EMS yeah. or something things you've seen no names obviously no no that yeah. stuff oh, okay real I got you a little uh, fact check yeah, there how many people so, we have uh, out of 333 million Americans 23% are 18 and under so 23% and then how many are 60 and up so we got to uh, take out that. We got to do math now. You're going to make yeah. me do math. Yeah, don't make me do early. math. This Let's early. do some weather because let me ask you all this. <laughs> I am in my house, as, as maybe some of our six o'clockers know, because I can't leave the house. I did not get to feel the weather outside. Does it feel amazing? It says it's like 76. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. it wasn't it's bad. Nice. Yeah, it was yeah. decent. I was too busy looking I mean, at the moon. is it a change? Like, could you notice oh, a change? Know. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, you can. It's not as hot and humid. Is today Whoa. the big moon day? The yeah, somebody said it's a blue moon. Look yeah, outside. Moon. Text just it's that. big and it's pretty. It's cool. I didn't even notice. It's Mine's supposed cool. to be at 936 tonight is going to be the best time to view it. Reminds me of that movie mm. uh, with Jim Carrey, Liar, Liar. Or no, uh, what was the one where... Oh, you're thinking of Bruce Almighty, Bruce Almighty. where he pulls the moon real close and then yeah. he causes a tsunami yeah. on the other uh, side of the world. You want to be romantic? You want to be romantic for Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. He pulls uh-huh. it close to the house. He's like, ooh, that moon's so big. <laughs> yeah, some people don't realize that the moon is what causes the, t- the waves ooh. in the ocean. The tides. The tides. The gravity of the moon mm-hmm. sucks a bulge of water around the planet. So if the moon were suddenly gone, would that mean all the oceans would be still? I read that it really, like, it, when you see the wave hitting the, the beach, it's really just uh, it's because the earth is going back and forth. Like that's what's causing it. It's not the waves hitting. It's us going. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We're the ones. Oh, wait, maybe, <laughs> how, maybe one of our how smarter how listeners and the has a higher IQ can would. tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> Three seven five three zero. If you know the answer to the whoosh whoosh that Eric just talked about. We have, we have NASA scientists listen to our are show the and they just got to be face palming. Are we like, standing still oh. and the waves are hitting us, or are we the ones going into the waves? We're hitting the waves. You were bouncing back and forth. I think. No, guess man, what? The, we are hitting the waves. Man, we yeah. are. We're yes, Eric. Totally and if the cable up. from the elevator falls, you're going to jump at the very last second yeah. so you don't I'm get hurt. You, look yeah. it up on, on your flat. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. <laughs> okay, officially, like what is the... I'm uh, not a flat earther. Uh, I am oh, not no, no don't flat Earth. Don't spread him. that rumor. <laughs> 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 oh, here, what's the high supposed to be today? Uh, it, yeah, don't high? let this nice morning fool you. It's still going to get up to 100 today. So it's going to be sunshine. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot right now. 77 degrees and 613 on the Roland Ryan Show. Celebrity Scoop on 104.1 KRBE. All right, Rolly, your mic is off. No, she can't hear because... Uh, no, I can't hear it. Go. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Okay, there you go. There you I go. heard Danda Taylor's song, and I go, I don't know what's happening, and nobody's talking. Yeah, okay. And I, was, you, I didn't want you. to talk over you guys. Sam's overseeing uh, Ahmad to make sure he's <laughs> here. Yes. Yes. It's a training day. Yeah, because she's going to be... I that's thought that the okay. rest of the radio elements would be in my headphones if I could hear Taylor Swift's cool song. They went silent, and I go, okay, I guess they're going to cue me. <laughs> Sam's anyway, going to see your parents cute. in a few... Uh, yes, tomorrow, so. so many family members are going to meet uh, my baby Santiago oh, that are up in fun. Pennsylvania. Like, my older brother has not met my child. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. Mark's brother has not met our child. My well, aunt yeah, and think uncle. about it, because only your mom has been down here, right? And your dad and your, and your little brother, but not your oldest. So, yeah, that right. would make sense. He has a kid. Big... Yeah, he has a kid, so it's kind of hard for him to travel. Maybe Mark's it, parents have met our child. but like 8 yeah. o'clock hour, too, you had a question about traveling with a baby, so maybe we can do that at 820. Yeah, if, yeah, have, if we have because time, it's everyone's be... fear, yep. and it's every passenger's fear to see you walk on with. And there's actually baby. some audio of a kid that sounds like R two D two. I could play that audio. There's a kid that was crying oh, on a plane, boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm. and he's like, Rrr! it sounds just like R two D two people. R two D two or Chewbacca? Oh nope, R two D two. Okay, it's going viral right now. Okay, so the so Ahmad is um, taking over the reins to make sure he's got all the perfection. Damn, I'm going to screw everything up again. The Scoop is brought to you by Innovative Lasers of Houston. I know, is it kind of crazy because you do it for so many days and it's like clockwork and then you just take like a week off or mm-hmm. five days off or three days off and you're like, oh wait, hold on, which button is this? Where's the mic anyway, button? <laughs> where's the mic button? So as we all know, the actor strike is happening, director strike, writer strike, all the things, and nobody wants to cross the lines and be a scab. But there are a lot of people who are not famous that this strike is all about, right? Because the majority of people that are part of the um, sag after union uh, only make, like, le- they make less than $27,000 a year. Yeah, people like my now, daughter out there who's making nothing. 
When you are part of a huge television show like Kimmel or Colbert or where the hosts are making multi-millions of dollars a year, you've got a lot of people that show up to work to make that show run who are now also out of work, which is killing their in, like their livelihoods. These people live so, paycheck to paycheck, Rula. So Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyers, and John Oliver all teamed up to do the podcast called Strike Force 5. And all of the proceeds are benefiting their staffers who are out of work because of the strike. It launches today on all platforms where you find your podcast. There'll be at least 12 episodes. They'll be discussing the ongoing strike and taking turns leading the conversation. They got the idea to do the podcast after having weekly check-ins with each other on Zoom. And then they thought, why don't we just make this? a thing to help all of our staffers. Now, look, I don't know how much money this is going to make them for all those guys to be able to feed all of their people, but at least they're trying. I mean, it's a nice effort, and it gets them working and, you know, giving some entertainment. So that's a very interesting thing, wherever your podcasts are found. Still, they still get paid for the reruns. Residuals, so, yes. You know, like, probably, yeah, you because stuff, those are still, so outside still of making, strike. Yeah, still but still not making. the people who do, like, craft services and, and all the equipment. So and they stuff. Can, they're not getting they paid They can afford for to reruns. give some of that money and help, help their mm -hmm. peeps. That's nice. Um, earlier this week, we talked about the passing of Bob Barker, the legend yeah. from The Price is Right, at 99 years of age. And uh, they're gonna, CBS is going to air a special hosted by Drew Carey in honor of his life and the years that he spent on The Price is Right. That's going to happen tomorrow night. Um, he passed away, like I said, at the age of 99 from just, you know, natural causes that we know of. And his, his fortune was quite big. You know, really? He was not a poor man. He had a lot of money. And he did not have children. But as we all know... He loves animal charities. Mm -hmm. So from what the word is, many animal welfare welfare charities are going to benefit from his estate. Uh, and um, let's see what else. Where else is his money going to go? I don't think they told us the other. You know, Rula, yeah. if you want to see the funniest thing that Bob Barker ever, ever did with Adam Sandler, it was called A Night of Too Many Stars. America Comes Together for Autism. Find it on YouTube where uh, Bob Barker is in the hospital and Adam Sandler comes to visit him and they get into a horrible fight mm -hmm. and they end yep. up going to heaven. And it's just, oh my God, it is the funniest thing. What year did thing. they do that? Uh, 2015. Yeah. It's oh, on wow. YouTube. Just Google. Is that the one with the red nose, Dave? Where we over what? You buy the red nose thing? No, because autism is is a is a puzzle piece um, mm -hmm. for there. Yeah, what was the red nose? Because there was the a red nose days a... for heart. Isn't it for heart or is it for cancer? Red nose day. Mm. Red remember nose they, day because I know you can they, buy they, the whole. I do remember that. But that that has nothing to do with stuff. this. Yeah, they did like a Love Actually skit or something too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's on YouTube and it's really getting a lot of hits right now. But it is so freaking funny. So do you just put like you search Bob Barker Adam Sandler? On just autism? Google Those three words Google Bob Barker Adam Sandler hospital fight. Actually, it's what's his name? The guy that does the the dog, Triumph the Dog. I forget the actor. Uh, uh, um, uh, oh, Robert Smigel. Smigel. Smigel yeah, it's his, uh, yeah. Cause his son has autism. Mm -hmm. So every year he oh, does right? a big, it brings all of his comedian friends. Mm -hmm. and, they, mm. and it's even funnier yeah, than Happy Gilmore. Like HBO it is HBO and stuff so sometimes. Oh, good. The, again, the Bob Barker special is an hour-long special tomorrow night. It's called The Price is Right, a tribute to Bob Barker, and Drew Carey will host that. Sam, did you find out what Red Nose Day is before I we move on? <laughs> I did, but I was... Uh, yeah, that one's different. This one is different because I, I typed in what is Red uh, Nose Day represent. It says it is May 25th. I'm sure texters are going to text I think it was in, May. It's in May. But it says it's an annual campaign that rains, uh, raises life-changing funds to help to end the cycle of poverty and ensure children are safe, health, okay. um, educate, and empower across yeah, you the can, U.S. Yeah, you can go to savethechildren.org. That's what it's about. Red Nose Day, go to savethechildren.org. Yeah. I thought it was right. for like a cancer, though. So that's and that's I, I confuse stand-up to cancer with Red Nose Day. With I mean, there's so many different big there, events. There are a lot we, of events right hungry now. Children. It's great. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. And now we're going to change topics to what's up your tuchus. All yep, right. We'll this see what happens number here. came up a couple days ago. 4,000 Americans are hospitalized every year with a, quote, foreign object lodged in their rectum. It's in your The analysis butt. estimated that almost 39,000 Americans age 15 and up went to hospitals with the embarrassing injury between 2012 and 2021. That's the equivalent of almost 3,900 people a year. I fell on it. That's Men accounted for nearly 8 in 10 cases, with the most common group being males in their 20s and early 30s, uh -oh. who made up a third of all ER visits. Who also More have not learned about lube. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I don't think. Is that going to help with a jar of peanut butter? <laughs> well, it won't hurt <laughs> as right. much. Oh, things from God. bottle caps to cans to marbles uh, to Apples. all these things, even stationary. Stationary 
It says an even stationary. The only Return thing I know is paperwork. So 713-390-KRBE, we open up the phone lines to our medical community to let us know some of the things they've seen in their ORs, their radiology departments, or their ERs about somebody coming in. Unfortunately, something up there. Okay, and medical people, it's time for you to bring it. 713-390-KRBE. It doesn't always have to be about that. It could be anything crazy you've seen. Yeah. Or but that usually it. ends up happening. Or <laughs> you've yeah. witnessed something and strange. Anybody listening One that's actually crazy night. fell on something and actually had to go to the hospital, call us, too. We won't judge. Maybe. Yeah, 713 Maybe special case. <laughs> KRBE, and don't get any ideas either. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, be, is getting, <laughs> yeah, don't be taking notes, people. Fantasy ideas from this segment. We yeah. are going to take your calls next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Show. Okay, medical professionals, it's time for you to enlighten us. Tell us some of the things that you have seen in the ER. Radio listeners, put your seatbelts on. Tighten yes. up. Yes. Yes. Parental discretion is advised. Oh, let me play Phoenix because yeah, where's that I at? love and his voice. We promise. The following content may not be suitable for all ages. Listener discretion is advised. Cha, cha, cha. Yeah. No drops no. here, Ryan. Kevin. We're doing the segment. Hey, my hand's what? off the sound effect machine. I'm pushing shocking both of yours down. <laughs> that was yeah. Kevin. What shocking things did you find down, Kevin. inside someone's body? As we found this week, the number is 4,000 Americans are hospitalized every year with a, quote, foreign object lodged in their rectum. <laughs> and then other parts. We're going to, like you said, Eric, put your seatbelt on. Um, we are starting off with Brooke. And I don't know if that's starting off too strong, but we're going to. Oh, wow, we're going, we're going right for it. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. I just want to go down all the line and get as many calls as we can. Brooke, you were up first. Hi, good morning. All right. Hi, my name's Brooke. Uh, I'm a surgical assist, but when I was a student um, in the program, I worked downtown, and uh, I my charge nurse was like, hey, there's a really good case for you. You're going to see these on call. You're going to see these come from the ER. Why don't you go up? I go up. I'm like, okay, so excited. This is my first case by myself. It was a snake up someone's back end. A snake? A live snake? A live snake. snake. A, like a rubber snake a, or a real snake? No, a real snake. A California <gasps> king snake. It had died, and so he, oh. the person, yeah, couldn't get it out. And so. Why? Um, How big yeah. are these snakes? I mean, is this like a big um, I mean, snake? It, was, it was a pet, so it seemed... I don't know. It seems pretty, seemed big to me. <laughs> oh, Lord. But it was, it was, his pet? It, it was yeah. And so then oh we God. got what it out the... and yeah. all of us didn't know what it was. We had to research it later to know what kind it was. And pathology had to research what yeah, it was. Okay, what was his Brooke, demeanor what, like? You, yeah. What was his, like, from what oh you know, God, there, there, most, there, like, most, what was most, his reason or how did this happen to him? Did you you know, when they come to the OR, we get the bare minimum at that time. But... I mean, just sounded like they were curious. Now, Eric, take a look at that. How, wow. how would you describe that snake? It, it's not that big. It looks like a, it's, it's like a giant worm. That might be a baby like, one. Yeah, though. yeah. That's I mean, so it was weird. a pet, so it was from when you measured it. It was from like look at your pointer finger to like mm, to oh. the midway of your of your forearm. Still, you don't want that. Why thing would you do that to you, your pet? Much less inside you. Oh no, they get you. big. Good lord! Uh, yeah, they do get big. Uh, was, he yeah. was was he embarrassed at all? Did he just um, didn't seem very embarrassed? No, he was probably <laughs> just more like, "I'm in pain. Get this out of me." Oh yeah, get it out. Yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. smokes! But I never, God. I had never, I had never seen anything like that. That was the first ever. <laughs> wow! Oh, did you gosh. did you see any more afterwards? Um, Lizard? no, I haven't seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen many more, but nothing like a, a pet snake. I've seen people put all kinds of stuff. I've seen, um, a big, a big hairspray bottle. I've oh seen, my God. what's the number one excuse um, they use? Uh, or uh, I, why, why they did this? Fell. Slip and fell. Did they? Yeah, yeah, they do it to themselves. Yeah. There was one that I, I uh, well, we don't want to get graphic, but went all the way yeah. up to the abdomen, oh all the God. way up to the abdomen. Oh and God. Yeah, it was an open case because it was so bad. So that's surgery. Stuff, that's huh? I just wanted to ask you one more question. Uh, any repeat offenders? Yes, I have had repeat offenders. 
Oh, man. Wow. So once a lesson, twice a full, I say. Yeah. Oh, You're like, well, hey, Bob, yeah. all right, over Thanks here, you know the drill. Thanks for making us all clench today. Yeah. I'm... Thanks for making us all oh. clench. Wow, a snake. <laughs> you have a Brooke. great day. Thanks for sharing your I didn't have that on a bingo card. Nope. Because Bob is that. up next. The question is, what have you seen in the medical field of uh, people coming into the ER, the OR, and an emergency they put inside oh, their bodies? God. Hi, Bob. Good morning. Bob dropped real loud. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Bob dropped. Okay, it, wait. Let's Bob say, though, what did Bob said that... Oh, it was an aerosol can, and uh-huh. they had to go to two different hospitals because I think that Bob had texted it had exploded. Oh my god! And they had to remove part <gasps> of his intestinal tract, and and there was like a colostomy. When an aerosol can happened. explodes, oh, it's like a grenade. Oh, uh, Vicky right. is up next. Oh, Vicky is up next with another one of these shockers. The things that people have been able to do. I, I don't even know how you do this. Hi, Vicky. this should be on America's Got Talent. Pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, how are they going to show that on TV? Oh, yes, it's the version. Man, What's it. up, Vicky? Hello. Hello, Vicky. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Hello. Charlotte Flair. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Yo, oh my Can you hear me? Oh, okay. dear. Okay, we're going to come back to. Well, I want to hear what she said. Vicky, Start it. Can I tell you what it is? Yeah, what was it? Get to, an intact glass light bulb. Oh, my God. Come on. No, an intact possible? light bulb. We have a, Oh, God. Okay. Why would you put back. yourself in that kind of immediate danger? danger? Yeah, because I mean, it's glass that it could shatter. And and then oh. you would just bleed out and I you would die. But people are, da- you know, the daredevils. Why do people jump off buildings, That's base true. jump? Why do people That's do crazy or, stuff? Or maybe drugs were part of the equation, Kev, and they That's weren't true. thinking, mm. you know, that it wasn't they couldn't like find anything else. this morning having a cup of coffee and suddenly put this up there. They must have been on something. Okay, let's go to Samantha, 713-390-KRBE. Things people have seen and radiology, ORs, and ERs. Hi, Samantha. Good morning. Uh, give me one. Oh, wait, well, we got to hit the button. Hold on. I know. Let's Hello. try that one. Hi, Hi. Samantha. Hello? Hi. You're on. Hi. Hi. Oh, I, so um, this guy at the hospital, he had a, um, a cucumber up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> An intact cucumber. Uh, <laughs> so what did he say funny. about it, Samantha? Like, no. did he, he didn't want to toss like, the salad hey, when to make because it. Because of this problem. <laughs> what did he say about his problem? Like, how did he present the issue? So, Do you know? So he was saying. So he was saying that um, he would have stomach pains, or like he um, that he was in really bad pain. So he went to the ER, and so the ER was like trying to get it out of him because he didn't want to tell nobody. So um, you know, eventually they were like, you know, we need to help you. Like you need, you need, you know, you in really dire pain. Like we need to help you. So he was like, so he finally told them um, that he had a cucumber and that he stuck it up there for pleasure and then um at least he was telling the truth eventually he he tried to get it out because it it was going up there so he was trying to get it out and when he when he um was trying to pull it it broke off half of it broke off oh my god the other half he got out and the other half was inside oh no he he had it for like a whole week a week? A, a week? week? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, and he didn't want to tell nobody. He was trying to get it out. He was trying to use, like, um, um, cooking wait. stuff to yeah, get it out. And he didn't, so he didn't get it out. So, yeah, it was bad. And then he sent it to the, um, we went to the ER. Mm-hmm. Do you know if he went to work and that whole week? Like, was he at work and then trying to work it out? Or did he call him sick? Do you know? I don't know. He didn't, he didn't say. He, he was just um, trying to get it out. Like, he was just trying. Wow. And he, just, so he was trying every which way to get it out, and it, nothing would come out. Like, it didn't and in the end, you'll have to cut him open, or how did it get Yeah, removed? he had to have surgery, surgery, and it smells so bad. It smells so bad. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That's enough. There goes my brother. I didn't need that. Oh, Lord. No, that was I great. Can't. That was oh, great. Oh, I mean, that's the honesty oh. is coming out. She was so Thank honest. You. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many people. Oh, poor guy. If he went to work all week long, and somebody's like, oh, what's up? Hey, That's what I'm why? saying. You get a thing. Can you imagine, Eric, if this guy, let's just say, let's just pretend that he is a litigating attorney. Let's just pretend. <laughs> is it a big case? It is a huge case, and he has to really focus, but all he can think about is like, oh, my God, I have a half-broken cucumber. He's like, up there on the, and on he's the table, pain, bent over. Like, and there's, Your Honor, there's you're under. You're under. Kind of justice. He can't think about. <laughs> Talk about being distracted. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that okay. was good. We had other people. We'll I'll have a mod record them. Yeah, I think I've had enough. Yep, those yeah, are good. I think you guys brought it though. I'm I'm impressed. Yes, we got to remind people that there are actual toys for this situation that can be sent to your house discreetly. Well, yeah, and Should Kevin, we... they get stuck inside them too. We had other yes. callers saying they went to the ER for those. Did you want her or no? Well, sometimes no, those have time. handles. Okay. Yeah. Where you can... okay. Well, my okay. question is: Is there uh, any kind of like a uh, like a therapist? 
or a doctor that can recommend the proper, safe way to do things. I'm just thinking with yeah, inflation, like maybe that's Cindy's. why they don't do it. Well, I'm Probably not talking about them. C- the employees. Yeah, sure, yeah, those, yeah, they know everything. I bet the employees know a lot, Ryan. I'm yeah. sure they do. I think they have to. KRBE's Rula and Ryan show to tell you what's going down in H-Town. All righty, it is brought to you by Duncan. Today is our birthday, Houston. 187 day years old. I got to get this right. Are you really? What? No, I'm just so distracted right now. Were you born the day that Houston became? Because No. We are 187 years old today. Uh, we were bought by Augustus and John Allen, who paid a dollar forty for an acre, a dollar and forty cents per acre. They bought six thousand six hundred and forty-two. Yeah, uh, let's see. In 1841, Augustus Gloop. No. <laughs> <laughs> in 1842, Houston's first city hall was built, and that is where the old Market Square is right now. That burned down 30 years later. Uh, exactly 99 years ago. Uh, the Museum of Fine Arts opened up in Houston. And it was the first Look museum in the city and in Texas. So, yeah, Museum of Fine Arts been there for 99 years. Okay, so Travis Scott has announced the schedule for his upcoming Utopia Circus Maximus tour. Houston so, has okay. not made the final cut. Now, earlier this <laughs> month, there was really? a leaked no. lineup that included the October 19th day at a Toyota Center. Uh, Reddit users caught wind of a deleted tweet from Live Nation announcing this, but Mayor Turner actually said earlier this month he promised safety at the show. He pretty much confirmed the original date. He said, quote, Travis Scott and his promoters booked the Toyota Center for a concert in October. But I'm thinking there must have been some backlash. Yeah. People did not. Not time yet. Yeah. By the way, I did the, you said 1841? Uh, Let's see. $100 in 1841 is like $3,500 today. Oh, is it really? So it'd be like thirty five. 3500 bucks an acre. And they bought 6,642 acres, and that's how Houston was founded, by the Allen Brothers. Huh. So if you ever wondered why it's called the Allen Parkway, there you have it right there. Uh, Astros that's took down the Sox 6-2. to two. Yeah, that was awesome. We're in JP France. First place, baby. Yeah. Are we really? That makes me so happy, Eric, because I thought even though we had more wins, we had more losses, and so it's keeping it's like us behind the Mariners. Everything's like a point, like, you know, 82% point two. Rangers uh-huh. 82.2, two, and we're 82.1. So we're all first place. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. So we just got a slight so edge. Slight. Yes. We've got like but 27 more days of baseball before the playoffs. Seattle has the tiebreaker against us, so mm. really we're back behind them. But it's all good. There's a lot of baseball all left. good. Okay, as far as the Texans are concerned, the NFL and the WWE have announced a new line of championship wrestling title belts. And that includes offerings from all 32 NFL teams. The Houston Texans title belt is uh, you know, it's got the team's logo on it and, and the main center Smart piece. move. It's got the official uh, Texans colors and the product. Listen to this. It's listed at the price tag of five hundred and forty nine dollars yeah. on the Houston Texans NFL shop. And it's it's funny when I go to like wrestling matches and events in Toyota Center, like people mm-hmm. go there and they're wearing belts, they're carrying belts. I'm like, it's very odd to me. Like I understand shirts, like you know, hey, my Seth Rollins, here's my shirt or whatever. But they, they're wearing, they're well, carrying the championship they, belts. To, like they, I'm just wondering who's so weird. Like, they're grown men. The grown men wearing these like five hundred dollars belts. Went to the Super Bowl, Eric, and yeah. you saw people holding a fake Lombardi trophy. You don't actually see that. That's what I'm saying. So you to don't. Your point, yeah, it's very odd. You don't see that. Like anywhere. who's the person? Who's the demographic that's buying a five hundred and fifty dollars wrestling belt that says Houston Texans? On or it? they make their own. Look, Rich Colton dude. is one of our super our number one listener kids. You know, Sam's met him. I've met him. He loves Audrey Rose. Little Colton that comes out to our events. Colton has a wrestling belt they made themselves. And I would. By themselves. If I was a big Texan fan and I liked, you know, mm-hmm. you want and you had some money, that'd be mm-hmm. cool for your collection to have it. You, plus, at the game, you're going to be on TV if you hold that up. I guarantee okay, it because NFL I, owns part of it. Can I? Can I ask you? But so the belts are like the wrestling belts. Yeah, yeah like they're the, in partnership with the WWE. Hey, Google uh, uh, NFL WWE wrestling belt. It's really cool looking, but but they're uh, six hundred bucks. But it's not something that you win like in a wrestling match. Yeah, you like wrestling, you win a belt. Yeah. Like in, yeah. in yeah. Yeah. Uh, Football, it's a championship belt for a team that's grab. never won belts a championship. Belts and rings is what everyone's looking for. And purses. Rings. For, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the purse for boxing, yeah. rings for a purse football, and a belt. baseball, hockey, Some shoes. and then the belts for wrestling. A Texan's <laughs> purse. No, that, that, is, is, no, that, that is get her done. I'm sure they have that. I'm sure they, they have that. They have those, and they have Astros oh, purses, absolutely. Kev. Yeah. They sell them at the stadiums. I think Dooney and Burke created those, and they're not cheap. By the way, I saw yesterday Audrey Rose. I didn't know this about her. She was proposed to in a wrestling ring. Did you see that, Eric? Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's a, Audrey, ring a huge um, wrestling announcement. If you don't know who she is, announcer. you should know who she is. She's on after Sam and with Kevin and Audrey. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, in Cal Station, that's where she uh, started wrestling. Oh, uh, really? Not wrestling herself, but being like the announcer, the announcer. and part of the, the whole thing. It's pretty cool. She's got some cool stories. 
of all these indie wrestlers that would go there, and then uh, they made it big. Yeah, ask her sometime. Call Kevin Audrey. Just ask him about wrestling if you want. You can call Audrey after Sam. Watch Kevin Quinn's head explode. Yeah, she's on <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about wrestling. That's I want to talk about my French Bulldogs. Okay, coming up next, Mr. K. Is it a telemarketer turnaround or is it He's a robocall? He's got to pull his hand out of his hands right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we will bring back a robocall this week, and it has to do with one of our favorite websites, Rula, H-A-R. Oh, yes, the real estate website. I went on there yesterday to see the most expensive house. Y'all, it's like $65 million. Oh, it's my unbelievable. God. Ooh, I'll take yes, two. Yes, har.com prank. Let's go for it next on the Rule and Ryan Show.